Hello and welcome everyone to the new video lesson of our course. And in this video, we learn about how we can create a professional logo for our website without any graphic design skills. And to do that, you have to just go to a new tab and search for free logo maker. And then you will see a website known as freelogodesign.org. And this website has a pretty clean and awesome interface. Uh, and now I'll just go ahead and enter a website name. And you should enter yours. Like ours is best amazing sales. And its category is related to something like uh, technology related. Or uh, yes, let us find some yes we found out technology and then let's hit get started it would uh, load for a while and then you'd see some of the ideas which they have given and as the name of a domain was very very long you'd be seeing that these are just overlapping each other and not looking good so let's just go ahead and i like this logo very much so i'll just go ahead select it and hit add and if you do not like the logos on the first page you can go to many other pages first second third fourth fifth and here you'll get a lot of options and you can see how clean this logo is and uh, to just download it i can do it for free for my website at the initial stage but first, I want to make some changes to this logo because I just downloaded this logo and uploaded it to our site. But it doesn't look good here because you can see the emblem on top and then the both texts at the bottom, which doesn't look good. And we can make it look better by uh, let's just go ahead and select these both. And then uh, let's make our logo much better you can select these and then this logo looks much better and we can also place it easily on our website's header and uh, it wouldn't block the view for the other headings too so let's go ahead and download it and it started to download as i already uh, gave my email ID and everything here but if you uh, didn't you should get an option to give your name and email and guys there's a very good practice of uh, not giving your business mails or your personal mails to websites like these as they mostly do spam and a very good way of uh, improving this or you can say very very good way of making this better is uh, you can just go to a new tab and then you can search for temp mail and this website gives you a temporary mail for some time and then you can just go ahead and copy it and then paste it there and then uh, when you just hit enter you'll get a notification like this saying that your logo is ready you should click on it and then hit download and now let's go back to our website and uh, add this logo. If you do it manually, you can have a hard time finding where you put this logo on your website. But I'll just show you an easy way. And to do that, just go to this customize option. And if you don't find it here, another way of finding it is you have to go to your uh, dashboard then you have to go to appearance and then customize and this would open the same tab and here you will get this section which contains many things about your website which can be changed i already told you that we will remove this top bar in this video and to do that you have to just hit this top bar you have to open this and then you have to go to general and then you have to just remove this checklist which is enable top bar you have to hit publish 
and then you will see that your top bar has been removed. And now you would be thinking that why I am emphasizing on the top bar since the previous video. What is it? It is just a very small bar which is displayed on the top of your site. And uh, the problem is that it looks small on a computer. But just remember that more than 70-80% of your users would be from a mobile phone. And that thin bar makes a very huge difference on your mobile website and it doesn't look good at all. So many developers do that mistake that they forget to remove that bar and then their website just sucks. It doesn't look good and we just fixed it and you should also. Now let's go back and go to header. And here is your header section. You should click on it and then you should go to logo option and then you should hit select logo and you should go to upload files. Select files and then the file you uploaded will be selected and then you have to hit select from here and then you will see an option to crop the part which you would like to see on your site. We already cropped it and then you will see that your website is updated and there's your logo on your website. Now you should just go ahead and increase this size to the max width and uh, 500 on both these scales. Now you should just go ahead and hit publish. And there your website's header is complete. Now you would be seeing here that your website's fav icon shows this WordPress and here also your website's fav icon shows this WordPress option. But we want to make it something like this this temp mail fav icon and there's a very easy way of doing that and you can do it here in the customize section only and you should just go back uh, two steps and then you should go to site identity and here you will see the select site icon option here you can select your site icon and you can hit select and uh, for now we can just show the emblem of our site and then we won't need this text. So let's crop the other parts and you can see our logo is 200 by 200. So we cannot crop this logo right now. So what you should do now is uh, you should just go to this free logo design site and uh, just delete this text. And you can use the delete button for doing that. And when you delete this text, what you will be left with is only uh, this icon. And then what you can do is you can just make it very big. And as you make it uh, very big, just go ahead and hit save. And if it asks for your email again, just give it. And then you can just download this emblem and then we'll place it as a fav icon of our website and this is a very good and easy way of doing it otherwise if we would have gone and cropped it the resolution of the image would have been not so good and the customers would have seen some blurry pictures on a fav icon which leads to our sales going down because uh, whenever somebody comes, a logo makes a great first impression. So, uh, now you can just go ahead and download it. He's, it is asking for my email. I'll just go ahead and put it and I'll download the file. Okay, so now guys, my uh, logo is ready and I've downloaded it. Now, uh, what we can do is we can just go ahead and select this cross option. Go to select site icon and then go to upload files and select files and then upload this image and after we upload it uh, you can just go ahead and hit select and it will ask you to crop it but we can't so let's just go ahead and crop again and then you can see that this looks very cool and your fav icon has been uploaded to your website now this was it for this video. In the next video uh, we learn about the footer. 
that how we can customize it according to our needs and how we can just change this copyright text to something like copyright 2020 uh, made by you or made by your website name or many other things like that come in space when you work on the photo.